Now then, we're on with a different video. It almost feels like we're here with Jeff Bradshaw in British Columbia because it's just been raining and raining and raining and everything's wet and horrible. But I just thought there's this 1.4 turbo diesel, it's a Ford Fusion, and uh, one of the offspring got to a position where this car sucked some water in. And it must have taken some doing because there's the air inlet just there. Quite a long way off the ground. Anyway, it runs but it runs on three-ish and smokes like... It smokes a lot, okay? Now, ho I was hoping that it may be just head gasket damage so we've run it up and it doesn't pressurize the uh, the head the water header tank there so no that's not it so i've taken the top off the air filter just those screws there and it lifts out there's three catchers that catch in there so we get rid of that now to remove this piece we had to undo that screw and that screw remove this clip here and that pipe off the rocker box and it's a bit tricky around the back the back of the air filter housing there's two pins that push into rubbers so that's fine but um, I'm going to lift this out and show you what the hassle was there we go. There are the two pins. Yeah. But can you see that little clip there? Where are we? There it is. Well, that clip is supposed to hold that wiggly cable there. So you have to sort of fettle that a bit. Yeah, so that the cable comes from there and it goes round there. And the other thing that I did was... There we go, that'll do well, I think. Where are we? There and there. Right. That little bracket there is bolted there. So I undid that bolt, which sort of retains that from that okay and we were able to wiggle this lot out which was great so I'm just going to grab hold of the camera now there are the two rubbers that those pins sit in okay and that pipe there feeds onto the air filter but here we have the four injectors. It's common rail, high pressure. Yeah. And you would not believe it. Now, I'm going to push this. You can't really see. That one there, I did remove the connector. And I think I've pushed it back in. Yes, I have. Now, I'm going to start the car up now and see how it smokes. Right. Okay. It clothers out, doesn't it? Now, I'm just going to go and undo that number one injector. So there you go. Okay, I'll switch off and we can chat about this. So it's not often that you get it right first time, but that's the first injector. I just undid that and started her up and there was no smoke and you've seen the test. So, and the idea was 
Okay, so one cylinder is smoking. It sucked a bit of water in and it's probably damaged something. Yeah, I don't think it will have damaged the valve and it looks like it hasn't damaged the head gasket. So it might have very slightly bent a rod. Yeah, so the idea there was unplug an injector, see if it smokes. First one, stop smoking, that'll do. So now we've got quite a lot of work to do to take all this rocker box off, take the ERG valve off, etc, 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 and get the head off. Yeah, it's a belt uh, cam drive, so that will want the, I think I'll put the engine in the right place, the crank in the right place, and uh, have the belt off, and I knew this was, had been replaced fairly recently. Drain the water down, have the head off, go as far as you can see. If it's a rod, um, then it's a matter of changing the rod. And luckily, I think it's quite easy to get the sump off these. Take the rod out, put another one in. It sounds very simple, but it's probably quite a tortuous process. So this um, whole project might take uh, six or eight weeks because I'll do a bit and then think about it and then do a bit and then get round to doing a bit more etc etc but the main thing is get the uh, the cylinder head off but at least we know it's number one cylinder job gone I mean w I suppose we could have that injector out but it looks like you've got to get this plastic rocker box off to get that injector out. And I don't think it will have uh, damaged the injector. No, it will have uh, done something else. So we better have an inspection. Okay, so at this point we've got to decide whether we actually want to do this work. Yeah, we now know which cylinder is not contributing. Uh, so I suspect it's got a bent rod. So effectively we've got to have the head off, the sump off, yeah, and um, yeah, undo that rod, go and get another rod. Well, eBay the rods are about £25 plus postage and packaging. Yeah, then we want a head gasket set and no doubt uh, turbo seals and stuff like that and um, injector seals. One of the problems is that you've got this much gap to get undo, undo some of the bolts and you definitely need a quarter drive and a bit of patience. And then the exhaust comes down and right underneath the, the sump. So you can't just take the sump off as in a Morris Minor or something like that. You've got to remove that piece of exhaust and of course you've got a cat there and then a flexi drive and it goes up and over a chassis member and the bolts that hold this piece of pipe to that piece of pipe well the heads are no longer existent yeah there's no way you can get a socket on there so that would be grind them around and weld nuts on and see whether they would come undone but it's been there for 20 odd years so I will just like a discussion here and get to see what people think. 168,000 miles, 2003, a bit fiddly. Um, how much is it going to be cost me financially to repair this? And then how much in pain and suffering? And is the outcome worth it? Yeah. Will it need a clutch? should I just change the engine? Will then the new engine work with the ECU or do we have to do some reprogramming? Ah, it's a nightmare. It's not like you just pull an engine out and bang another one in and away you go. Yeah, things have moved on a lot and um, it's time to discuss this, I think. Yeah, uh, Would I be wasting my time? Would I be better off doing something else? I know certain people would go, get a Mercedes, get a, a C-class Mercedes and it'll do you right and all that sort of thing. 
they are a bit big but then you can put a lot of stuff in the back as long as you get in the state yeah tell me what you think I'd love to hear your comments and I'll speak to you soon cheers for now